Hey y'all, it's me. Okay, couple of things. The first one is I would draw the, the yarn swap because nobody really wanted it. So that's fine. I ended up giving the yarn to these two little darlings that I taught how to crochet this past weekend. Isn't that great? And she did something that, let's see, where is it? Oh, here it is. I taught her how to do this, believe it or not. I'm still not sure how I managed to do it, but it's okay because it worked out. But she made me this cutie with the beads on the chain, on a crochet chain. So it's kind of like the best of both worlds. But she had fun learning. They both did. Uh, one was older than the other. Uh, they both learned rather quickly. They picked it up pretty good. Um, the older one, of course, her, I guess her spatial recognition with her hands and stuff is a little bit better than the younger ones because the older one understands, you know, the difference between pull and, and you know, tight. So she's, she kind of gathered it a little bit faster and she learned how to single crochet like a champ. Of course, you know, working into the chain, doing a single crochet to learn is like difficult, but she did it. Uh, they both learned how to chain. <coughs> They're masters. I've been busy. I have, I did another baby blanket, but I didn't do a sweater for it yet because I'm going to have to reverse the colors because I don't have enough to do one or the other. There you go. It's with the Burnett satin. And it's discontinued colors, I think. It's a, um, it's this one, which is, got the glasses. I'm thinking ahead. It's a number four. It is, uh, 290 yards, approximately. And let's see, it's called Sultana. It's a color. That's a pretty color. Sultana. And then, of course, the other is the beige, which is this right here. And it is linen. So, it's called linen, but it's like more of a beige uh, taupe color, if that makes sense. But it, it actually made a really pretty little blanket for a baby. So, I'm, you know, not I'm not mad at it. Came out pretty. So, um, altered it up a little bit because I wanted to try it with just two colors because I've got a, uh, my sister wants me to make her blanket with just two colors, so I wanted to make sure it looked all right. So, came out really pretty. The purple ends up being the, the star of the show at the bottom. I'm still working on my others. I started another purple because I've got another baby that my sister wants me to make a blanket and, and sweater for, which of course is going to be a little difficult because I'm running across some things I have more yarn of than others. So, hmm, kind of have to hit or miss with a lot of it. Um, let's see. Oh, I had, my sister had company this past week and she works with a, um, soup kitchen or something like that a food distribution thing and they have people who come in there all the time look and wanting to see if they could you know had hats or something or scarves or something to help them you know do the colder months and what I told her is that I'll make a whole bunch of them up and just have them you know send them over to you and that way you'll have them for next year and stuff like that and I may make a few scarves to send you know just giving back a little as I can um, Cinnamon Stitches, I saw her thing with on Instagram with Premiere. Really cool. She's doing a whole Premiere week, which is awesome. And of course, you know, Bag of Day is just her beautiful self. She drives me nuts. She's so good. But that's okay, because I like that. Um, let's see, who else have I been watching? I gave the girls three names to learn uh, that can teach them how to crochet very well. Bag of Day, Creative Grandma, 
jaded in stitches. I know there are more. And I'm probably going to have a, a more definitive list. But I'm thinking of people who've never crocheted before learning. And those three I can think of right off the top of my head. Because y'all know I got, I got memory issues to uh, learn to crochet with. And they're really good teachers. I mean, back of the days, how I learned a lot of stuff. Crochet Grandma, I followed a lot of her stuff and Jade and Stitches. So when I was picking it back up and learning new stitches, I was going through them. But I also, oh, I should have done the Crochet Crowd because they were and Fiber Spider. I did learn a lot from fibers. Y'all see, I get to thinking of everybody I learned from, and I've got so many that it's like crazy. I learned, you know, different kinds of patterns from each person. So it's kind of like unique uh, how I ended up learning how to do a lot of what I do. Um, and of course, you know, even though she didn't teach me how to crochet, uh, Linda, the crochet sister, has supported my journey um, that I've taken with this. And I've enjoyed it. I mean, I really have. Um, I get a little behind with the YouTube channel. And I know y'all get frustrated with me because I get frustrated with myself for not keeping it going, uh, you know, all the time. But now that I'm getting into a set schedule with my sister next door, I'll have more time to plan videos and do videos. And I went to Knit Picks and found the colors I wanted, but they only sent me one of one of my orders. Don't know where the other one is. And so I'm a little perturbed with them. So I went to um, Hershner's, Hershner's and ordered some of the yarn, but she's going for maroon and white. See, that's going to look pretty together, I think. But that's for her soon-to-be grandbaby, which nobody's supposed to know. It's kind of like not out officially, but it's kind of like the worst-kept secret. <laughs> y'all have any of those? And y'all know my prayer list has been growing like crazy. I watch everybody's... I watch try to watch everybody's videos all the time. And sometimes I just watch them, but I don't comment or, and sometimes I won't get a chance to like them on my TV. Cause the, uh, my fire TV is kind of weird with that. So I have to kind of figure a way out to, to go in and like, but I'm getting better at it. So I'm able to like people's videos a little bit better now, but I like watching y'all's videos on this big TV because if y'all are teaching me something new, I want to be able to see it big because, you know, I'm half blind. So learning how to see something really huge is a good thing. Um, y'all, I've just been, I keep saying I've been so busy, and I have, um, but y'all should have seen the little bag I made up for those girls as well as the box. I gave them the whole box of yarn that I had the last time that I put in there. All the, um, I love this yarn, you know, the sparkle, everything. I had added three other skeins in there to finish the box off because I had to switch to a taller box. But, um, so I got all that done. But I made in these cute little bag, a uh, little bag that had two crochet set hook sets in it. Uh, one for each, um, and th four different yarns that they could play with. Because I know when I was learning how to do each stitch, especially with Bag of Day and with Creative Grandma and Jada, I would take a color that I normally don't use a lot, and in this case, that was yellow. But I had these huge skeins of yellow, well, you know, the Pound of Love yellows. And I would just use them um, to, to learn new stitches on because to me, that was easier. I could see the stitch definition on the yellow better than I could on anything else. And before you move to a darker color, it's best to know exactly what it's going to, supposed to look like. That way, when you see it on a darker color, 
you recognize it. And so to me, it was easier to do a yellow, um, but I gave them a, a pale um, orange. I get, as you can see, an orange. Gave them an orange. I gave them a purple, a yellow. Was it yellow? I don't know, may have been a different color. And um, taupe. So they had four colors that they could go through that would, you know, give them different visuals as far as what the stitch is going to look like. So that's why I wanted to give them four different colors so they can see, you know, the different, what it looks like. But they were so excited to do the chain. They practiced and they practiced that next day, the whole night that I taught them that. And they kept doing it and kept doing it and kept doing it. And they got better and better and better and faster and faster and faster. And they were driving me nuts because they are so good. Although I am happy for two reasons. One, it's a dying art. And not many people are learning to crochet as many as needed to replace all of us when we age out. So I feel like teaching those two and... Any, any other kid that asks me, I want to give them a love of yarn arts, if that makes sense. I want to make them excited for it, to, to really enjoy it and, and get excited about it and just love to do it, you know. Um, <clears throat> I would love to teach my granddaughters again, but <clears throat> <clears throat> I've already given them a whole bunch of yarn and I don't know what they did with it. Uh, I know that my daughter still has it somewhere, but, you know, I, I, I haven't been able to spend as much time with them as I want to, 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 to be able to teach them. And it's sad because I really, really want them to learn and they want to learn, which I wish I knew one of y'all who lived kind of close to where they do. And then I could hook y'all up and y'all could teach them, but. I think that's something that most kids, young girls, or boys, I tried to get the kid, the, the boy that was here to learn. And I told him all about Jonah and Fiber Spider and, oh, who's that other one? I'm going to think of it right after I get off of here. You know I will. It's the one with all the yarn behind him and he's does a lot of knitting, but he does some crochet too. Um, I can't think of his name, y'all. Oh, that's sad. And I watch him. Brain freeze. Y'all know I get it all the time, so now y'all see what it looks like. Pretty sad. I've had it since I was in my 20s, though. Everybody says, it's because you're getting older. No, mm -mm. I've been this way <laughs> since I was in my 20s. I just will forget stuff. I will walk into a room, have no clue why I went. The only way to figure out what I went in there for is to turn around and go back in the room I just left and stand there for a minute. And then I'll remember it. And then I'll go. And I won't forget it that time. <laughs> Sometimes I will. But usually I don't. I usually get it the second time, so. Um, Lord, y'all, here's something I learned. Don't make checks mix with peanuts. Yeah, don't do it. No, the peanuts burn. They, like, get brown and black, and they burn, and they smell up your house for two days after you're finished making it. So don't make checks mix with peanuts. No. Not fun. Although I did make something that was a lot of fun. It's oyster crackers. The uh, You use Hidden Valley Ranch dressing, the, the, the packet, the powder, and a little bit of oil. I think it's, I use what I did a lot of people don't do this, but I bought four packs of those little oyster crackers, the little ones about um, premium oyster crackers. They were like 92 cents at Walmart. So I bought four. And 
all you do is you get one of those big two gallon uh, Ziplocs, you pour them in, you mix up a quarter cup or half a cup of oil, uh, vegetable oil. It's very important, don't use olive oil because um, it really messes the taste up. And then a packet of Hidden Valley Ranch. Um, although, because I like it a lot, I end up just guesstimating on the, because I have a whole shaker full of the Hidden Valley Ranch dressing. So, I just shake some out there until I like how much is in there. And then I mix it up real good and I pour it over the crackers. And what you do is you flip them over until most of them are coated. And then every so often, I'd say every hour or so, go in and flip it again. Um, just make sure you're, you know, getting it all over the crackers, as many as you can at a time. And, you know, just every hour or so, flip it over, mess, you know, mix them up a little and make sure that you spread it back out again. And after, I'd say 12, 12 hours maybe overnight, um, when you get up in the next morning, they're done and they're wonderful to snack on. I mean, they're like, they're really good. Um, but it's a lot of carbs because it's white crackers and it's white, it's all, uh, oil in there. So it's kind of, it's a little fattening. So I don't eat it a whole lot all the time. So, um, but they are good. And, of course, I eat my Chex Mix because it has corn mix, corn Chex and wheat Chex in it. White rice Chex. Although the rice Chex is probably not as good as the corn Chex. Corn Chex is probably better. But it also has pecans normally and pretzels, which is good for you. Um, the only thing that be, can be considered not really healthy for you is the butter. Because I have the, I get the little packets at Thanksgiving. You know the ones I'm talking about? If you make Chex Mix, you do. Um, they have the little seasoning packet, which it's all the seasonings you need for the Chex Mix in this little packet. And you just add a stick of butter. You melt a stick of butter, mix the seasoning up in it, and then pour it all over all your stuff and mix it all up. And then put it on a pan I have a pan that's about the size of my oven that I use and I spread it all out and it's just enough for one, one making of it. So it's, it's, it's good for, to make one whole pan of it. So you pour it all out and you spread it out as far as you can. You stick it in the oven at two, 50 or 275, I can't remember. I think it's 250. And then every 15 minutes, you take it out of the oven and you mix it up and you put it back in the oven. Every 15 minutes for an hour. And then after that hour, you take it out of the oven and you put it on top and you leave it be for, I don't know. I always give mine at least 45 minutes to an hour to cool down. And that way it's not too hot and it's still sort of warm but it's really good so there is that <laughs> what can I say <laughs> I like things that are fattening and I shouldn't um, but I've got to get back on my catfish and potatoes so I can lose a little more weight because I need to lose a little more um, but I eat, we eat pretty much everything and I don't use sugar in my tea. I use stevia, which is a lot different than sugar. So it's a little healthier. What else was I going to say? I was supposed to go to my, oh, I'm sorry, Bag of Day had a notification. See, I get everybody's notification. Okay. Um, Hold on, I'll remember it. Give me a second. I was supposed to go to my sister's house in Mississippi for spring break, but we had company now, so we couldn't really leave them with her husband by himself. That just wasn't gonna happen, so we had to go. Um, we had to stay here, so we, um, I'm exhausted though. 
because those kids awesome as they are they're like on the go they are totally just like flying through a day which I think is so cool because I remember when I was that age I never wanted to be in well I never wanted to be at home so I was always on my bicycle riding it here there yonder you name it I was going on my bike so and I can remember I got a, a 10 speed for Christmas one year and sure enough but I didn't have the um, the 10 gears. I just had a regular 22 inch bike with the brakes lines on the front. That was as far as I got. And then, um, you know, pedal it. Well, I think I was out the first day and I fell and I hurt my leg really bad. I had like my whole knee was just like this right here, road rash bad bleeding everything i didn't want to go home so i went to my aunt's house and had her fix me up and then i went home but um y'all i tell you the things we do when we're kids that we pray our kids don't do that then we pray our grandkids don't do but life was so different when we were young because you could literally let your kids run outside all the time and you never really worried about them because all the other mothers in the neighborhood were watching everybody's mom basically was either home or you know worked you know less hours or you know worked at the school all, all the people that i knew that they were their moms were usually home uh, during the day or they were home by the time school was out so you know we usually had a lot of moms on my, my my road that we we all just you know we were out there I mean we I don't think we came inside unless we had to um of course I had more of an introvert so I preferred alone time by myself, so I wasn't really as outgoing as my other sis siblings were. I mean, we have one sister who we said has never met a stranger, still hasn't to this day met a stranger. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, it's just, now you're scared to let your kids go out in their front yard. I mean, you, you want them to go to the backyard. You don't want them out in the front yard anymore. So, there is that, and it's sad because it's it's kind of like, it's sad that that's going on. But wait, y'all, I want to show you, this is my scar from having that lipoma removed. But it's all gone now, so it's all good. Um, I'm trying to think, y'all. And y'all know I do this a lot. I turn around because I know that there's something else I'm supposed to talk about. And nope, just can't remember it. I'm going to be working on that baby blanket. I'm going to be working on the character blanket. And as soon as I have the character blankets finished, I'll let y'all see those. They're going to be identical. So, but I'm still going to show you both of them because I'm just that way. And then I'm going to make finish the baby blankets. I'm going to make some hats in between making the uh, blanket that Linda sent me um, with all the flower pots. It's, it's going to be pretty, and I can't wait to work on it. But um, it's been very hard not to dive, you know, just dive in and do it because I really want to get started on it, and I can't because I got so much right now. But as soon as I get that knocked back a little to where all I'm working on are hats and baby blankets and that. So the character blankets are the biggest thing. So once I get through with those, uh, because of the single crochet you take in forever, um, I'll be through with that. And then next time I'm going to make them Linda's way. <laughs> she knows what I'm talking about. So... I'll be making them your way next time so that it won't take as long. Um, 
it will be a lot easier. But that's it, y'all. Y'all got it. I have updated y'all to what's going on and everything like that. But I'm still, I, I got to call nitpicks and find out what happened to my second order. Because I was supposed to have two skeins each. Two weight, two current. That's the name of this one, is current. And it's not showing up the color it is. It's like showing too dark. So it's like a, really a, well, that's a little bit kind of closer. But, um... Yeah, I'm supposed to have two of each, and I only got one of each. So, I've got to call them and find out what happened to my other order. Because I placed two. One right after another. Uh, because, for some reason, when I looked at it, it only had the one skein and the one skein. So, I ordered it again. One skein, one skein. And the price had changed by three bucks. In the, in the short time between when I ordered one and I ordered the other... The price had changed by $3. Yeah, I'm not happy with that at all. No. No, if you're going to screw me, I would rather you, you know, just kind of let me know you're going to do it. You know, like I, I plan on raising my prices right after you finish ordering this one. So, you know, that way I would know not to order any more from you. So I'm done with nitpicks for a while because I'm really upset about that change in price in a very short span of time. I mean, we're talking within 30, 45 minutes of each other I ordered. And the prices were $3 apart. So, mm -hmm. I won't be ordering from them for a while. Um, so that's the end of my Brava Worsted. So I'll have to find my uh, DK's, my, um, Stylecraft special. I'll have to order that because that to me is, is it's softer. Feels good. I mean, it's not the softest I've ever felt, but it's soft. So to me, it works. And then... You know, I have all this Karen Simply Soft I can't wait to use. Got a lot of it, too. So, I'll just see where everything you know, equals out. But I'm going to be working with the... That's where my baby blankets and, and sweaters are going to come from. And I'm still working on this purple one here, which, like I said, I'm going to run out of one of the purples. And then I may just... I'll have to wing it for the for the rest of it for the uh, sweater because the sweater's not going to have any of the dark in it because I just barely had enough to do the blanket, the 18 rows of granny squares, you know, to make, I mean, granny stitches to, to make the, the blanket. So I'm just going with what I got. Oh, wow. Y'all, I do this. I talk like forever when I haven't been on for a while. So that's another reason I want to get back to recording videos like kind of close to each other so that I will have plenty of stuff to talk about in each one, but I won't keep y'all all day. <laughs> yeah, sorry about that. Um, but yeah, that's it. I'm going to let you go. Uh, y'all take care of yourselves. Be safe. Take care. Um, just keep doing what you got to do and whatever y'all working on. If you wouldn't mind, let me know because you know I get my ideas from y'all. And I do do ideas through the, the thing. So I, I need to go back to back a day because her uh, Etsy shop, I need to go to her Etsy shop and buy some more patterns. I almost have all her patterns. I'm missing a few that I haven't picked up yet, but I'm just trying to be selective because, you know, money. But I want to get some more patterns from her Etsy shop because she her patterns are really well written. If you're not used to reading patterns, I'm pretty sure you can read a bag of day pattern because of the way she writes it. It's fairly clear. And not only that, she writes a clear pattern, but she also has a video for most of hers. 
So if you can't understand the thing, it'll help you learn how to read a pattern by watching her do it, as well as looking at it on the pattern. So you can learn how to, to, to get those two connected together so that you learn it place. Okay, y'all, I gotta stop. Have a great day, enjoy yourselves, and I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.